I'm set up on a new chunk of public that I, none of us have ever sat before. It's a little bit of a hike back in here and carrying in all the gear when it's 78 degrees out. Got a little sweaty coming in, but at least I showered up and sprayed up beforehand so they shouldn't smell me. Um, but it looks good in here. Kind of, kind of off the beaten path. I'm hoping it's a hidden gem. We came in here shed hunting. <coughs>
hit one and we, I was confident with the shot but then we grabbed the arrow. We're not really sure what happened, if it turned or what, but I'm still confident that it's dead. We got some rain so we were just going to leave it overnight, but we're just heading in, we're just going to a stand to start tracking and looking for blood. I didn't see what I mean, grabbed the arrow, it smelled some guts. So we decided to give it overnight and hoping that it didn't go far and lay down. So, because you have the rain off and on all night, there's a good chance the blood will be washed away. So, we got the whole crew out. So, uh, see what we can find. So, now we're just going to watch the blood. So, when he turned, he ran like this, and he went in between that down tree and that bird. You know, how far did you go? Just a few. This is literally it. Like so then I just stopped and backed out. You can see his tracks right here. Right there's blood on the tree. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, there's blood, blood sprayed up on the tree. Oh, I see him dying. He's right there. Are you kidding me, dude? He went 30 yards. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, this was eventful. Yeah, that was... So you made a good shot. <laughs> Should have just went another oh. 10 yards and I'd have found the Oh, dang it. Well, I hope the meat's good. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> oh, that's a really nice buck, man. Heck yeah. We could, I could have came in here right away. He was laying dead before he even Oh, Jesus, down. Mitch. He only went fucking 30 yards. Why did you hear him fall? I said I thought I did. I yeah. you. Look at the exit. How yeah. did that come all guts? How is that guts? I don't know how you got guts on that arrow. That's the exit hole. That's perfect. I told how do you, you have I guts on that? It. There's definitely guts on the arrow. I know, but look at that. <clears throat> I said I smoked it when I shot. Yeah, look at that. That's that's double long. That's like I said. Dang well, it, said we should have just came in last night. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you get the release? Yep. I'm sorry. Every now and then, with yours and Adam, you just throws you for a loop. You know? It's a nice dark rock too, huh? Old hey look, there's an old stand there. This is a real good spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Old timer hunter here. That's a cool looking buck, Mitch. Very oh, nice. Oh, he's stinky. That is a nice buck. Very nice. It's, it's very, hey, that's very symmetrical. You it might is. have a yeah. good chance of the most symmetrical. Yeah, most. I shot a deer like that too. Good job, bud. Thank you. First buck for sure. 
Oh, first back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Took longer to get in here than to define him. Yeah, I should have seen him drop. Almost. Where's well, it's just, it was I can see the stand. I know, but when you get up, it's so Look at all the trees that are in there. I you wish I would have seen just... the belly from the ground one, like when well, you got no, down. When I got down, it was so dark because I was talking to mom, talking to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dang. I guess they don't have to turn the crackers on anymore. No, them off. That's awesome. Yeah, you see, this is all I saw. Like, his ear was down, and I'm like, crap, he's a spike. And then when he came around a tree, you know, when I first when I first saw him, when I first saw him, he was right there, right in between those two little trees. Came in, he, shot. He turned and ran the same way he came from. I wish we would have just came in last night. Dang it. Well, there was you know reasonable doubt. When in doubt, back up. That's right. When you got guts, and arrow green. I don't know how you had guts on that shot. There was definitely guts in there the whole Well, I believe you, but I'm, I'm just looking at it. I don't know how you'd have guts on it. I took pictures of you. Here, look. This was the arrow. It looks nothing like a double lung shot. That looks like 100% guts. I agree. Doesn't that? It's a wicked buck. Like I said, it, it's possible that it went through the top, I guess, and then, yep. you know, that, hey. that pipe that goes down. You made a good shot. Yeah. So, uh, I'm pumped about that. It looks way different than... Maybe because the camera's over here, I don't know. I think Maybe. the angle plays with it. All right, we found them. It only took about... Uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. If I would have walked just a little bit more, but when I grabbed up the arrow last night, somehow this <clears throat> this is the exit and the entrance is actually a little... Uh, just a touch back further than what, what the uh, exit is. Somehow my arrow was full of guts. I have no idea how. But... You can't find it down, but... I'm always looking. Oh. Uh, no, so we were we were nervous and I couldn't find blood right away, but another five yards, if I would have walked just a little bit further, I'd have had blood everywhere. Once we once we walked up, and as soon as we were standing by the arrow, with it being a little more light than what it was last night, I looked and I saw the white belly. It's like it was laying right here. So always when in doubt, nervous. Got guts on the arrow. It's like you can't can't trust that, so you gotta let it wait. Nervous, sleepless night for nothing. I was laying here dead before I even got out to the truck. So. We literally, we took five steps from where you shot it. We're like, oh, there's his white belly. Yeah. Yeah, here. I'll that's the exit you. hole. Yep, that's the exit. And that's the entrance. So if anything, it was, it almost looks like it was quartering a okay. little bit. Yeah, away a little bit. And you can see the angle down. Yeah. I and mean, you can't ask for a better shot. Right. I said, well, that's why I said, I when I called everybody, I'm like, I smoked it. I knew I, I, I knew I was so confident, I knew I hit it good, but once you look at that arrow and you see guts, I have, I have no idea how the guts happen. But we'll uh, find out carefully when we open it up and see where yeah. it is. You might have got it right through the, the intestine there, that's what collected on it, you know. Oh. Normally it's always blood, but you're Good low. shooting, bud. Thank you. Are we taking a photo <clears> here <throat> quick? Yeah, freaking I plugged my last one. hit that main artery somewhere. I plugged my last one. The so, there's the deer. And, uh, right there is the stand. So, he kind of doubted himself with the arrow. But if he had took about five more steps and seen the blood sprayed all over the tree, he would have seen the white belly sticking up. I was hoping for a little bit of a crack job. Right. Okay. Well, I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking successful through, end to a story. When I was talking, I was talking Mitch to you when I walked up, for us. and I said, I'm like, I think I see him laying there. I'm like, no, it's not. It was him. Because I night? could see, yeah, I could see. It looked like I saw this, and I'm like, oh, that's a brand. I'm like, well, that's his aunt. No, I'm like, nope. I was looking through my binoculars. All worked out good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Dad, I don't owe you a Bloody Mary now. I said I owe you a Bloody Mary if you find it. I found it. No, it's going to cost you one, two, three, four, five clam diggers now.